He needs his sweat. No, no, it's not sweat. No, it's not sweat. Hey, Luca, can you clarify? Is it increasing or not increasing? It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Oh, I see. Uh, I see it now, wiggling. Can you see? It's over here, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. But uh, I have um, I have that, and then there is uh, about the same amount of when I took the helmet down last time, Chris. Really? Yeah, I, I can feel it in the back of my head. Uh huh. I don't. I I can. I don't understand where it's coming from. It can be the it water. It has to be the bag. Can you suck it dry? Oh, so that stuff on your forehead is not sweat? No, it's not. Oh, I see you. Okay, it has to be the, it, it's the bag, because the bag is dry now. Yeah. And Chris and Luca, you guys can just hang tight there. Chris, you can continue to help troubleshoot if need be, but uh, we're going to talk about it here for a minute. Roger that all in work. And Chris and Shane, that's why I, I feel a lot of water on the back of my head, but I don't think it speaks from my back. Are you sweating? Are you working hard? Um, I am sweating, but it feels like a lot of water. It's not going anywhere. It's just in the... In there, my city cap. And Luca, we copy. Copy. Hey, Luca, while you're working there, can you give us uh, maybe some more words on the water? Um, maybe identify the source you think, and then is it getting any worse or is it the same? Um, good questions. It feels the same. Uh, it's not increasing nor more. I still feel it, and I cannot tell you the source. Um, my only guess is that it came out of my bag and then found its way over there in the back, but I don't have any water in the front of the helmet. Yeah, I'm thinking that it might not be the water bag. <laughs> There's no other place for it to come, unless it's sweat or urine. I guess it must be sweat, then. Yeah. How much can I sweat, though? Hey, Luca, oh, can yeah. you give us a status of where you think? It sounded like we just heard you cannot hear. Um, is that true as well? No, no, no. I can, I can hear perfectly. I can still hear perfectly, uh, but my head is really wet. And I have a feeling that it's increasing. And I'm thinking that it may, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm thinking it may be the LCVG that's leaking. Is that a possibility? Just with the fan or the cooling? No, I haven't touched anything. So you, the leak would remain and but, they would see data. But where the wind is coming from then? It's too much. I don't know, it's a lot. Nice in my eyes. Can you back with us? All right, Chris and Luca, just for you guys, uh, based on what we heard with Luca saying that uh, water is in his eyes now and it seems to be increasing, uh, we think we're going to terminate EVA case for EV2. So, Luca, we'll have you head back to the airlock. Chris, we'll get a plan for you to uh, clean things up here and then join him here in a minute. Hatch is open, Shane. Luke is going to the crew lock. Copy, Chris. Better. Thanks. Put me lock. Hey, Chris, just hang tight for a bit. Uh, once we get Luca taken care of, we'll uh, work on you.
No problem. I'm in no rush. I gotta bring side seat. The crew bringing Luca uh, through the hatch into the equipment lock. They'll be expediting uh, the removal of his suit. You can see some of the water floating away that had built up inside of Luca's helmet. Uh, helmet off and Luca safely back inside. Safer unit removed uh, from his EMU. And Karen from Houston, you can work steps 14 through 20 for the expedited. Fourteen is complete and we'll continue on with the rest. 